depolarization means membrane excitation and repolarization means recovery from that excitation. So, this is a given fact, this is very obvious that any tissue that depolarizes, excites, has to recover also from that excitation, only then the next depolarization, next uh, excitation will be possible, alright. Whether this is about a nerve or muscle, whether it is about one point on the nerve or a mass of muscle or whether it is conducting system uh, in the heart. This goes true for any tissue at any point, okay. Therefore, now let us see the ECG events. P wave, the wave of atrial depolarization. Obviously, because SA node is situated in the right atrium, so atria will depolarize first and uh, depolarization of both the atria uh, gets summated and recorded as P wave. Next, the depolarization will spread into the ventricles and therefore, the next wave on the ECG is QRS complex, ventricular depolarization. And then finally, after the ventricular depolarization is finished, there is ventricular repolarization getting recorded as T wave. So, ventricular depolarization immediately followed by ventricular repolarization. Okay, uh, but then the question is, there was atrial depolarization that also should have been followed by the atrial repolarization. Atria got depolarized, so they also should repolarize. Where is that wave on the ECG? Do the atria not repolarize? If they do repolarize, where is the wave? Let us understand this. Look, atrial depolarization happens first because of the SA node and then depolarization spreads into the ventricles. At that point of time, uh, the atria are repolarizing and recovering from their excitation. Okay. The wave of atrial repolarization is called as P dash wave. But this wave is not normally seen on the ECG. Why is that? It is because when atria are repolarizing, that is P dash wave, a possible P dash wave. When that is happening, it gets obscured actually by another major event and that is ventricular depolarization. Ventricular depolarization is a major, major event, big event going on at that time. And therefore, the wave of atrial repolarization, which should have been occurring at this point of time, it will not be seen on the normal ECG. I mean, on any ECG for that matter, this wave will not be seen. Why? Because it is occurring at that time when there is another major event going on in the heart and that is ventricular depolarization. So, we get the QRS complex uh, that is the ventricular depolarization and it masks, it obscures the P dash wave, the wave of atrial repolarization. Easy to understand, atria are depolarized. Then they are going to repolarize. Yes, they do repolarize, but that time depolarization is spreading in the ventricles and that is a major event. So, that gets recorded. Is there any way uh, by which uh, we can also get this P dash wave recorded? Yes. Well, look, it is all about timing as they say, whether it is cricket or whether it is uh, any other event of life or politics, they, they say it is all about timing. So, uh, can we change something about the timing and get this P dash, P dash wave recorded? Uh, well, yes, look. We can't change anything about the events in the heart. They are going to occur at their own timing, okay. But we can change the speed of the paper, ECG paper. Look, this is the normal record of the ECG. When that ECG paper moves with a speed of 25 millimeters per second, all right. What if we change the speed of the paper? paper moves rapidly and speed doubled to 50 millimeters per second. What will be the result? 
the result will be that all these waves will get scattered will get scattered and then we will also get this p dash wave the wave of atrial repolarization so to summarize atrial repolarization does happen yes it does and uh, only thing it does not get recorded on a normal ecg because of the peculiar speed of the paper if we change the speed of the paper to 50 millimeters of uh, 50 millimeters per second then all these waves will get scattered and then we can also obtain that p dash wave the wave of atrial repolarization 